my son and his wife Emily. They want a pepper grinder out of Paducah, which this is Paducah, and an assault shaker. So this is a plan for some that I've made before that I like the shape of. This is the mechanism for a pepper grinder for that length. It's an interesting project. It's been a while since I've done one of these. There are multiple steps. If you get them out of sequence, as you'll see, it's um, non-recoverable in most cases. Put it between centers. This is three inches. And my max width on my plan is two and seven eighths. So not a lot to lose. Cut it off, save this piece. Slow the lathe all the way down. It's pretty scary, it's just kind of hanging out there. Mortise for when the bottom needs to go on. Spin it and sand it and finish it. You can turn it right into a top. I <laughs> don't have enough stuff to work with. Um, you've got a little cylinder over here. I guess you could do something. That's what I was wondering about with that bit. Is maybe turning that into tops. Let's 
put the oil on, see how that looks. happy with how this came out. Got the mechanism all in and uh, got orange dust everywhere. Instead of a salt grinder, which I've made pairs uh, like this design, instead of that they wanted a pepper grinder and then a smaller salt shaker. So this is from a Christmas gift from my nephew Jake. Got a bunch of blocks of uh, various hardwoods and this is Paducah as well so we'll see if it it's not not from the same tree obviously same lot or anything the contour I want it to be sort of a proportional version of this shape but the idea is you got these rubber plugs you need an internal column uh, that it fits into the plug does 15 16 and then out outer uh, rim for the plug this to be buried. Going for four inches. So I need to get showing just a quarter inch there. And now we mark that should be the top and the narrow point. and do some depth cuts and do our outside contour and part of
little accent marks or whatever. off using the, the uh, sanding pads and the power drill. What I'm going to do is drill five holes for the salt to go through into this chamber. So we've got to get the exact center. Side to make the uh, plug fit in underneath. So we got to make a cutout so that this will slip in behind there. I don't want to ruin it. looks pretty cool. Let's see what we can do out of this. I'm thinking making some coasters to go with the salt shaker pepper grinder. It's a little small for a coaster, but if I can get four decent sized ones out of there and sand them smooth. All right, got a clean cylinder. I'm thinking the parting tool eats a lot of wood, but I don't know how else to slice it cleanly. So I'll try a couple of cuts and see how that goes. Let's try this 3 8 inch. enough of extra space they're starting to bind up in there I'd like to take it down to almost an eighth of an inch so I think I'm going to try to saw them the rest away the and sand them off <laughs> close but keep it on the lathe. I uh, made this uh, lovely little jig to turn the belt sander upside down. I think for doing this kind of thing it may be my best bet. We'll see how it goes. the salt 
pepper, set.